Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the copy instruction or the copy parameter. So why we use this copy instruction? So the copy instruction is one and the same only. It's a simple thing. So you, the, by the name itself, you can able to understand very easy. The copy instruction in the Docker file is a fundamental command used to copy the files. So I will try to paste it here. The copy instruction in a Docker file is a fundamental command used to copy files and directories from the host machine into a Docker image during the build process. So that means, so for example, let's say that uh, you are trying to build an image and you have a file that needs to be copied into the Docker image. So you are having a file the same place where the Docker file is situated and you need to copy that file into the image. So then we use this copy instruction. So uh, let's try to check how copy instruction works and how we use it effectively. The syntax for this one is something like it will be copy okay and you will try to give source and the destination destination target destination destination or the target like this the source file and the target destination where you want to read. We also have a multiple files if you want to copy the multiple files to the target destination means then you will use copy source one okay space source to something like that you will go on and you will try to give the target destination at the last so the same as the copy command which you will try to see in the linux so and also we have another thing that is nothing but copy if you want while copying so you are trying to copy the files from this one to the image right while copying if you want to change the user owner permissions so if you want to change the owner and also the group or something like that means then we can use hyphen hyphen chown Okay, is equal to so user the username you can give and also the group name so like this you will give and the space and same thing the source and the destination so like this you will try to give it so these are the different types so here the source means the source file or the directories on the host machine destination de destination dst means destination path inside the docker image and the chown means optional parameter that is an optional parameter so that is used to set the <coughs> ownership of the copied files and also the directories so that is one thing okay so now what i am trying to do the source file right you can specify one or more multiple source path the source paths must be relative to the build context the directory specified where we are running the docker build command and also the wildcards can be used to match the multiple files also like star.txt like that wildcard text also you can use it so there is nothing there there is nothing home in that one so the ownership means you can set the ownership of the copied files using the hyphen hyphen chown flag. This is useful when you need to ensure that the files have the correct permissions and ownership inside the container. So this is all about the copy command. So let's try to see the real time implementation of this copy command. Okay. So let's try to open our uh, Docker here. Yeah, this is our Docker thing, right? And I will go to mobile X term. So to on the Docker server. So here I will do it mobile X term. Okay. I'm going into this one. So there will be no need for me to always do the docker login and all those things so here almost i have forgot the password also for that one i think just one two three four i think my password is so let's try to open this one so here 192.160 something like that it is there so it is trying to log in yeah it has been logged in and now let's go on to cd custom images so i have edited this one let's go to the docker file okay so I, this is our docker file before going into this docker file so what i want to do it is so here we are having nothing right so now here let's say let's assume that we are we are having some files okay so let's say that i will try to do let's check the docker file what it is trying to do it so here so we are having some so we are installing the nginx right so i will try to expose this one 80 port by default uh, 80 port will be there so okay fine everything is looking fine so let's go and build the image so where we can build the image yeah let's build the image i am trying to build the image so we are having nginx means so we can able to uh, localhost we can do the localhost that one so let's try to check that whether the localhost is there or so docker container ps a oh so many are there let me try to delete these all the things and i will so we have deleted all the folders so now let's try to create a docker so docker container okay run hyphen d 
hyphen uh, hyphen hyphen p and i will be listening to the port 8090 so that will be listening to the 80 port in the container and here i will give the name hyphen hyphen name ubuntu hyphen demo something like that and the image name is ubuntu hyphen demo so now let's try to create the container now if you try to see whether we are able to run the localhost or not means just we can use the curl command localhost colon that's it localhost colon 8090 we can do it and we are able to see the entire thing right so now if you want to if you want to execute this one outside means so what you will try to do let's go on to here and 192.168.0.13 minus 13 actually 13 colon 8090 now we are able to see welcome to nginx so that means our nginx is working fine so we have we are able to access it outside so fine so now what i want to do is so this is a index.html file which is present in something like where where slash wlhtml or user say share engines html some location it will be there so just i want to uh, change this index.html file so what i will try to do let's go to our uh, docker file okay so here this is our docker file right so here i will be creating one file that is nothing but index.html index.html and here i will create our own custom html page h1 so this is the index file from docker image okay i am writing it like this and i am closing the h1 okay so this is our code now let's try to do it now this is the thing i have it now i want to copy this index.html into the docker container where it is there so now when we are trying to build the docker file i will try to show you when we are trying to build the docker file so here i will try to copy okay and i will be copying this one so here what i can do i want to copy the index.html so where it is the docker file where it is present so there only the file is present so index.html directly i can do and i want to copy into the user slash share slash nginx slash html so this is the directory if you are having if this is the html is a directory means it is a it is best practice to use the slash at the trailing slash at the end and i want to copy on a, uh, the same index.html sorry index.html into the same place into, into the another place like slash, slash where slash ww slash html that's it now i will save it so we know we are copying the index.html file into the container while we are creating a container now let's try to create the uh, sorry build the container so build the image sorry so now we are building the image so without any problem it is running it not a problem so it will take some time to run it <coughs> so it is reading so it will take some time yeah it's done so now i want to create the container so here uh, docker container ps hyphen i am trying to check it so i will try to stop this one docker container rm hyphen f so i am deleting this container cleaning the container okay now i will try to create the container so here we can have a um, thing so here i am trying to run it ubuntu demo and i am running this container so let's try to run it so now we have run ran the container so we have created a new container now let's try to see the output the same output here so in this place now we need to get our customized one so if you try to see this is the index file from the docker image now i am able to successfully get the customized image the first copy it is finished so now if you want to copy the multiple images uh, sorry multiple files means what you need to do so the same scenario so here i will be creating another one slash demo vis demo dot html and i will do h1 here also this is the demo file in docker image so the, just i am writing it like this and h1 i am closing it and escape and wq so that's it now let's go to our docker file here i am opening the docker file and now i want to copy the demo dot html file also multiple files so here i can write demo dot html user slash into this one and also i want to copy demo dot html into this one also so now the first file and multiple files i am copying into this one and i am copying into this one that's it now let's wq and here what i will try to do i will try to build the image so let's build the image so now i am running the image fine 
so here the copy both the things are running so it is re reading the packages let it read so done this one is also done now let's go uh, delete the container which we have created and now let's create the new container so this is the container i am creating again the container so now the container has been created let's try to see the same thing you will be able to see the same output but if i try to do slash demo dot html so which we have created it the same place it has been copied right now we are able to see this demo html also so now we are able to see the second one also there is nothing but copying the multiple files now the last one which we need to see see is the changing changing the ownership of the files for example let's say that here this is our container right uh, let's log in into this container docker container exec okay exec hyphen t i and ubuntu hyphen demo this is our thing and i want to log in with a jbash fine so now where we need to do ls hyphen l if you try to see user slash share slash nginx slash html so if you try to check the files so we are having two files that is nothing but index and demo html which we are copying the image is copying here and the user that has been copied is nothing but the ownership and the group that is belong is the root so who uh, who is the user right now so if i log in who is the user we are having nginx user if we try to see okay so now uh, we are able to see address is already in use so what it is trying to do so here if you try to check the nginx address is already in use okay 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 so we are trying to use it here so i will try to close it and let's try to see okay, something problem is there so for example if you try to check the ps if you try to check it here we are not able to see PS AUX if you try to check it so let's try to see PS AUX if you try to see here you will be able to see the nginx worker process okay the nginx worker process is used by ww hyphen data right so we are having ww hyphen data now this is the thing so hyphen what i want to do okay nginx i am doing grep nginx so i need to search with the nginx now here you will be able to see the ww hyphen data is the user for this one so now when we try to copy the files into this one so we need to change the ownership to ww data so how we can change this one let's try to see so i am exiting from here okay now let's go to the vi docker file and in this one so when copying in the user share so change that files the copied files in the destination to chown okay is equal to so i want to change the ownership to ww data and also the group also to ww data that's it now here also i want to change the group to ww data is equal to sorry chown is equal to ww data colon ww data that's it so now we are telling that copy the index.html and demo.html into this particular directory and who is copying this one root is doing this one so now change the ownership of these two files in this directory which you have copied to ww data ww data the same thing we are trying to tell here so now let's save it and build the image okay so building the image we are building the image so it may take some time so let it see so after building the image now what we need to do so here let's delete this container and create the new container oh sorry so creating the new container so now the container has been created let's log in into this container and let's see who is having the so now i have logged in into this container ls hyphen l slash user slash share slash nginx slash html so if i try to see here so previously we used to have root as the user and the group also belongs to the root but now this time the files belongs to the ww data and ww data in the same scenario if you want to check it with the var slash html means var slash ww slash html means then you will be able to see the same thing ww data it will be having so this is how actually so the copy command will be working so this is this is this is all the details about the copy command hope you understood about this copy command if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you